Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you a list of amazing and useful jeans that I like to keep in stock. And most importantly, where to find these amazing jeans easily. By the way, the Elemental Boost XL jeans and Critical Eye XL jeans will not be in the list. Probably you already have a bunch of those jeans in your stock anyway. The list will be grouped by elements. Timestamp are available below for your easy navigation. Okay, without further ado, let us go on with the list. First, let's start with non-elemental. There are a bunch of interesting skills in the non-elemental list. First up, we have the Inflict Rate Up XL. This jeans is a must-have for all status build, but do take note that it doesn't affect Daily Horn Jack, right? Now, where to find these jeans? The most reliable monster that carry these jeans is none other than the Hangry Hedgehog, Nergigante. You can find Nergi fairly easily at the Volcanic Den, even without using an SR ticket. See, one round, two Nergi eggs. Pretty reliable, I would say. Alright, next, Arachnophobia. This is probably the best utility jean ever. Also, it came from the coolest looking monsters in the series. Arachnophobia, it causes both paralysis and poison. Furthermore, it is a cheap and spammable skill. For a status inducing skill, you really can't get any better than this. When paired with the Inflict Rate Up XL mentioned previously, no monster can escape from this deadly poison. What's better? It is super easy to farm also. Just drop by the Gar Volcanic Base and beat the hell out of the low rank shrouded Nazilla wandering around there. Third on the list, Thousand Blade. Thousand Blade is probably the most effective way to cause bleeding status effect. What does bleeding do? Bleeding status effect cause the next hit to deal double damage. Everybody likes big numbers. Nothing can go wrong with big numbers. Also, the skill itself deals serious amount of damage. Big damage that cause even bigger damage. Imagine how satisfying is that. No. The only monster that carry these genes is no other than Seregios. You can always find one in the Guardian Rata's wood. Just fast travel to the Forbidden Ground, turn back into the Guardian's Rata wood, and you shall see it over there. Next, Deadly Horn Jack. One hit KO. I believe this do not need any further explanation. Fully upgrading these genes will give you 30% chance to one hit kill anything besides boss monsters. This is also a fairly easy gym to farm. Just head over to Jama Highland. Then turn left to find the white monobloss having its beauty sleep. The fight itself should no longer be a challenge for most players out there right now. By the way, if you kill it with a bow while it is paralyzed, you will already get 45% retreat rate. Add on a paint ball and you pretty much guarantee an egg. Now for an honorable mention, the Sword in Wound XL Jin. At max level, Sword in Wound XL add a flat 50 damage to the final damage output. This looks good on paper, but it has significantly less value when your monster attack go higher and higher with this level. Either way, it is a good piece to complete the non-elemental bingo grid. Most poisonous but vibrant carry these genes, but I like to get mine from high rank Poke Poke. All you need to do is keep refreshing Elder Slash Zone 1 to farm the Poke Poke over and over again. Now, we take a look at the fire element. Fire elemental genes, definitely the more deadly element compared to other genes. Even the wide varieties of skill available in the gene pool. I will not touch on the standard fire skills like Hellblade or Supernova. Those are pretty much standard damage output skill everyone's already using anyway. First, we take a look at the Fireclad Gene XL. This is a skill you need to ping Ratian and it should be put on every fire monster you are building. Also, the interesting thing is Fireclad XL is the only elemental clad gene with the XL variant in the current base game. You can find Pink Ratian fairly easily at the jungle den using any tickets. So stock this up if you like fire monsters. Next up, we have Fireball M. Why not Fireball L, you might ask? The reason is fairly simple. Fireball M is a much cheaper skill to use compared to Fireball L, but it has the same amount of chance to inflict burn status. Furthermore, it is damn easy to farm. You can get this gin from any blue quick code around the world. Okay, one more entry to the fire gin list. The Slugger XL. This is an awesome gym to have for completing a fire bingo. 
the ability to stun opponent is a good to have skill for fast monsters like Hellblade Cleverness. Usually, most riders will recommend farming Devil Joe for these jeans. But I found another rather strange place to get these jeans easily. That is from the Great Baggy in Elder's Lair Zone 5. You just need to fast travel to the destination, travel a short distance and you will meet a Great Baggy. Just farm it, fast travel back to the Catawan stand, then rinse and repeat. Easily you can get 12 eggs within 20 minutes or so. Farming the Great Baggy can also give you an interesting Ice Elemental Jeans, which will be mentioned later down the list, and also Deep Dragon Elemental Boost XL Jeans if you are looking to build a dragon monster. Alright, now we move over to water element. Truth to be said, water element is in a pretty bad state right now. Nothing much can be done with the current monster and jeans we have. I only have one jeans on this list actually, that is the Dancer XL. Dancer XL basically is the peak performance equivalent for Monster Hunter Stories 2. The attack and defense boost is not really important. The speed boost however, is a beautiful thing to have for PvP. With the speed boost, your monster can effectively gain first mover advantage and apply arachnophobia to the enemy and terrorize them. Tell me this is beautiful. There is also a budget way to farm these jeans if you are running low on tickets. The Ivory Nagiakras at the Durga Volcanic Base carry these jeans most of the time. On top of that, if you came across any high rank dance in the area, there is a high chance that a Xenoga egg can be obtained in there. Zinoga carries Dancer XL jeans most of, most of the time too. Next, we move on to the Thunder Element. Thunder Element is, is just awesome. Most active skill can cause paralysis. That is just so much fun. With the introduction of the Boat River Astalos, we gain a lot of new Thunder Element jeans like Thunderclad XL and Lightning Blade. So just keep farming the Thunder Egg quest and you can get most of the powerful Thunder jeans which I will not touch upon today. Instead, we will be looking at the Thunder Jeans that does not come from a Thunder Monster. First on this list, we have Synchronized XL. These Thunder Jeans can be found in a Water Monster. Don't know why, no idea how it works, but anyway, this Jean buff double attack damage. Again, big numbers are always good. The monster we are farming for these Jeans is the High Rank Royal Rudroth. They are easier to farm since they can be seen running in the wild compared to Mizuzune. Just drop by Elder's Lair Zone 4 and farm yourself some spongy reptile. Also, they carry the Water Boost XL jeans too, so bonus point for that. Then, there is the Critical Kinship XL Jean. This is another weird thunder jeans only found in Ice Monsters. This is a must-have gen if you are building a boat river Astalos. Given its high base critical rate, you can spam kinship skill and get more kinship in return. It's the best investment ever, man. So, after running around and farming various ice monsters, I found that the most reliable way to get these genes is from the game of M, Lagiana. Unfortunately, this monster does not run in the wild. So, the only way to find them is we need to go to Lolaska Glacier Peak and fly around while looking for rare dance. Now, fortunately, you can find Legiana inside the rare dance, which can be chased back to the, to the nest. Just keep digging for Gamma and Legiana eggs and you will have a bunch of critical kinships XL in no time. So as a bonus, you can also easily encounter Devil Joe inside Loloska rare dance. Grab this chance to farm some pop-up jeans too. Next up, the ice elements. There is an interesting ice combo readily available with the base game Ice Jeans. We just need to put together Vigilance XL, Tenacity and Vengeful Ice Drill. Tenacity can only be obtained from Elder Dragons, so you have to spend some SR tickets for this. Vigilance, however, is much simpler. You can get this from High Rank Great Baggy, which I already mentioned during the Slugger XL session that can be found in the Elder's Lair Zone 5. So 2 Bird Vibrant with 1 Stone, I guess. Vengeful Ice Drill is the basic default skill of Legiana, which also carries the Critical Kinship XL genes. Another two more birds with one stone. Just beautiful. Lastly, we have the dragon elements. Mm, okay, to put it simply, just farm Stajan, Sinoga, and Devil Joe. They hold most of the important dragon genes anyway. Okay, that's it but for my list of amazing genes and where to find them. If you find this helpful anyway, remember to click like and subscribe. And don't be shy to comment below if you have any interesting genes or build that you would like to share. See you next video. This is Brian from Malaysia, over and out.